Now, joining me are Mr. John Lydon, who used to be known as Johnny Rotten, and uh, Mr. Keith Levine, and they are both associated now in something which is called Public Image Limited. limited. Is it limited or unlimited? Yeah, limited. Limited. What is that? Is it a band? Is it a public relations firm? What does it do, and what is it? We ain't no band. We're a company. Simple. Nothing to do with rock and roll. Doodah. Doodah. Yeah. Okay, it's a company, not a band. Simple. What kind of a company is it? What does it do? It's just a communications a company. Huh? It's a communications company. To facilitate communications, how? Videos, movies, soundtracks for films, we hope soon. Sometimes we perform live gigs, and that depends on how we feel. Just about anything that's available. When you perform a live gig, do you bring musical instruments to it? Yes. So far. Well, but you said it's not a band. It's a company. Company. Would Companies you rather not? Companies can mess about with musical instruments. Okay. Okay. There's no limits. Would you rather not talk about the company? No, well, I'd like to talk about it. I beg your pardon? This is why we are here. Well, I want you to talk about it, and I've made five passes at it, and so far I'm not well, getting sure anywhere. Well, you've and studied I... your history of us. I mean, come on, prompt. Well, I... Do your business. Uh, well, uh, we're jet-lagged. Humor <laughs> us. What kind of a company it is, and you said it's a company that deals in communications. Well, it's simple, right? We'll do anything that we're offered if it's worthwhile. So, like, uh, at the moment, me and Keith want to dabble with film soundtracks. Dabble with film soundtracks. What does that mean? I don't know what well, that is. We started off with Public Image Limited. We didn't want to be or have anything to do with rock and roll. So, we thought being in a band and doing gigs wouldn't be the thing to do. I have a sig. But we, um... Would you like a sig? See, we I'll, ended up I'll find a way to your American heart tour. yet, though, I'll tell you. Here. Excuse me, sir. We ended up doing an American tour, which, um, definitely prompted us to stop the band side of things and, com and concentrate on the company side of things. Both you and John have said that you don't want this to have anything to do with rock and roll. Why do you dislike rock and roll? So it's much. dead, it's a disease, it's a plague, it's been going on for too long, it's history, it's vile, it's not achieving anything, it's just digression. They play rock and roll at airports, that's about as like advanced as it can possibly get. But there it's was a too limited. But there was a time when you didn't feel that it way. It's too much like a structure, a church, yeah, but there was a, a religion, a, a farce. A time when you did not feel that way. What made you no, change? No, I've always felt this way. Even when you were with the, with the Sex Pistols? I wondered when you'd get round to that one. Yes, even then. Because the Sex Pistols was going to be the absolute end of rock and roll, which I thought it was. Unfortunately, the majority of the public, being the senile animals that they are, got that wrong. Too bad. All they want is an image, something flash. Where did the name the Sex Pistols come from? Who thought that name up? Some animal, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It's history. Well, I think history matters a little bit. When you say some animal, was this a member of the band that history made it? History does not matter. I mean, your program's called Tomorrow. There must be a reason behind that. Well, unless we remember our yesterdays, there will be no tomorrows. Oh, my Getting back to public to image. Go. Beg your pardon? Getting back to pill. Oh, to public image. Yeah, we were saying we learnt from our yesterdays and our recent American tour that it was embarrassing to go on stage and do gigs because um, it seems to be an old-fashioned format to go on stage with guitars and play loud music. I mean, I'm definitely into loud, annoying music, but um, like um, getting back to the communication side of things, the people Instead you're like communicating a, a, to... A concert these days the is people. a bunch of gits on a stage with all these idiots down in the pits, worshipping them, thinking they're heroes. There should be no difference between who's on stage and who's in the audience. And we've tried very hard to break down those barriers, but it's not working. So we have to think again. So in the meantime, we'll put our attention somewhere else. 
Can I ask you what you did to try to break down the barriers between the people on stage and in the audience, some of the things? Just, we were totally honest with them. We went on stage and we were totally honest. We weren't, we weren't saying, look at me, I'm great, I'm a superstar. And we weren't saying particularly anything. We were going on there and playing our music. And anything could have happened when we went on stage. And it lots of things frequently. did happen. But we were totally honest with that audience. And the reactions we got, which uh, we got about four years ago in England, or the Sex Pistols got in various other punk bands. That's the trouble with the America. reactions we got You're in America. You're so degressive. <laughs> John so said something backwards. in an interview. Everyone's really preoccupied with going backwards. And I think the reason it's a good idea not to be a rock and roll band and to concentrate or direct our energies as a company is because well look to the it, future, right? It's it's totally all right, right. then let's have then, much then, of one uh, boys right. and then let's take it then let's, the US of a. then let's take it then let's take it a pop hero nowadays I hear excuse me for talking while you were interrupting I have to do a couple <laughs> of commercials here we'll humor me continue uh, not for long with this fascinating discussion right after these announcements in this Back now with John and Keith, who are with Public Image Limited. You know, it's been so long that I've almost forgotten where we were when we were at it. Ah, uh, you went into a bit of a tantrum, as I rightly remember. Oh, yes, I You I, want to hear about us, right. We have record commitments with Warner Brothers in America and Virgin for the rest of the world. We will, of course, oblige them. But in the meantime, there's a possibility of us doing a soundtrack to a film in Hollywood. This interests us greatly. What because are we are not a band, we are a company. We have many interests. We are also making our own film in England right now at this very moment. The music that you will do for the record companies that you mentioned, how will this music differ from what we thought was rock and roll? It's no more of that 12-bar ditty, wavy hair in the breeze, platform boots, flap your flare nonsense. It's not a packaged image of third-rate idiots. It's not a pose. We just do our stuff, hated as it usually is. And I was very shocked by the reviews of the last album. I believe none of them. Well, you I think they liked us for the wrong reasons. Well, you told me all the trendy thing. reasons. Can I have a cigarette again, please? Um, yeah, if you'll just... This won't cause an argument now. No, of course not. But you told me all the things that your music is not, but you didn't tell me what it is. I don't know that's what it is. Oh, well, that's probably the reason why you didn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need a title anymore. Okay. It doesn't need a bracket, a category, or any of those things. Right. As I've said, it is not the Not term. a band, a company. Right. Not a performance, a gig. Well, let's go to some questions uh, for, uh, for John and Keith from our viewers. Could I ask you a question sent in by one of the viewers? It's bound to be awful. Come no, on. No, as a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's, I think you'll find it an interesting question. I hope you find it's an interesting question. All right. If it isn't, we'll throw the question away. Is that okay? Go on. Okay. Could you please ask John the following question when he's on your show? Regarding a song on the second edition album, what is the chant? It's been driving us crazy. This is uh, signed by some uh, viewers in Indianapolis, Indiana. There, there's the question right there. What is the chant, it's driving us crazy? Well, Kate. Well, gang, out there the in chant. Indiana, there's your answer. No, no, You've been going crazy <laughs> for it now for months, and you got the answer. That's fantastic. What an it's answer. It's a ditty. Simple as that. Hate it or love it. You really don't care what your audiences think of you, do you? No. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. What is relevant? Just us getting on with what we want to do. If people appreciate it, that's fine, but we're certainly not going to condescend. Too bad if that makes us look like snot-nosed little gits, but that's probably what we are. At least we're doing it. This ain't no armchair outfit. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh... You seem confused by the fact that I'm we very don't John, want I'll to be you, uh, a band. No, no, we are a company. No, no, John, let me but tell you. But, I mean, you look at any business, how many interests do they have? You take EMI Records, huh? you look what they're connected to. You can drag them into Golden Egg restaurants, even supplying arms to South Africa. I mean, the list We're is long. We're positive interests. Let me try this. What do you like? 
I mean, I've heard you tell about a lot of things you don't like. What do you like? In terms of what? In terms of the world. In terms of... Not very much. <laughs> ah, well, uh, could, could he answer But this? that's not my fault. No, I don't think I could. Not offhand. Not without having to think about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, what do I like? Being allowed to get on with it without record company hassles. Do they seem as, as confused as you do about us? That's just unfortunate. Well, it, it, it is unfortunate. See, we're not uh, very intellectual. We just do it. I know. I only know what I don't like. You Definitely. only know what you don't like. Yeah. Okay. But I'm a very easygoing chap. We're looking for that shining star somewhere up there. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that uh, we are somewhere all. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's unfortunate that we are all out of step except for you. I mm. wish that something could be done This about is that. what I've been telling the world for about five, six years now. I wish you'd all grow up. Well, I hope we do. Oh, it was great watching Carter and his boat not being able to land in Venice. Oh, I was impressed. Yeah, or something John liked. <laughs> John and Keith, it's been really interesting. I liked watching Carter fall down the steps Interesting having you on tonight. <laughs> Interesting having you on tonight. One of the most interesting moments in my life. I'm sure it could be. Well, as I say, it's unfortunate that we're all out of step except you. Too bad. Must we'll be your shoes. Yeah, maybe that. We'll continue after these announcements from the NBC television stations.